Hey guys! So today I am going to do a collective haul from the month of April. Um, and this is mainly stuff that I got in Vegas and California on my vacation that I just got back from not too long ago. So this is going to just be the damage of that. Um, I went a little bit crazy, but I was really excited because where I live we don't have a Sephora, we don't have a Nordstrom, we don't have like any like high-end stores. We do have an Ulta. So, um... But we don't have like any of the other stuff so it was kind of fun to like swatch everything in person and you know it was vacation it was fun you don't do it every day but it was a really good time so i'm just going to share with you everything i got from this month there are four things i got before we went on vacation and i'm going to talk about those first and then i'll talk about everything i got on my vacation so the first four things i got before we went um, let me just take this eyeshadow out really quick. So this is the Makeup Geek, one of the new Makeup Geek shadows. This is just one of their new regular shadows, and this is in the shade Poppy. This is what the little packaging looks like. It's just so darling. And this is the eyeshadow. The shade is Poppy. It is just the coolest color. It is a matte, and I do have it on, if my camera will focus, I do have it on a little bit, like, up here today. And I really love it. It's so pretty. It's like this vibrant color. And if you just kind of diffuse it a little bit in like the crease, it just looks so pretty. So I love this eyeshadow. And that is the first thing I got. And I just, I've been wearing it a ton. Really, really like Poppy a lot. It's really fun for summer. So the next thing I got before I went on vacation is this Naked Skin Foundation from Urban Decay. I've had this before. This is the box and this is what the foundation looks like. I love this stuff. I've had it before and I went through one already and I just really, really like it. It's just like a really lightweight kind of foundation. It's not thick. It's a little bit runny and I love it. It is just a beautiful, beautiful foundation and I like to have a few different options for foundation so I really wanted to try this one out again because I haven't had it for like a year and I am in the shade 1.0. I believe that's the second to lightest shade. I think 0.5 is the lightest and then 1.0 is the second to lightest so... Woo woo, not on the lightest foundation because every single foundation I'm the lightest or sometimes brands aren't light enough for me and that's really frustrating. So if you're a pale skin girl, you know what I'm saying. It's awesome. So anyway, 1.0 is awesome. I love this foundation and it's so beautiful and I'm really happy to have it back. So I really like that. The next thing I got, I really wanted like kind of a mattifying primer for my vacation because we were going to Disneyland, stuff like that. It's going to be really hot. Um, where we live right now, it's like in the like maybe low 70s. There it was like in the 90s. And so I wanted something that would really um, stand the heat. This is the Estee Lauder Matte Perfecting Primer. This is what the box looks like. And this is what the primer looks like. It's just a mattifying primer. I can't even tell you how much I love this. It is so good. I would have died without this on vacation. It kept my makeup matte. I mean, I had to touch up a little bit because it was super, super hot, but I mean, I'm oily usually at my T-zone in the summer, and this is amazing. It is so good. I think it's like close to $40, but it is so worth it, and I am so, so happy I picked this up. So, love that so much. And the last thing I got before we went on vacation is this MAC lipstick. This is a satin lipstick, and this is in the shade Amorous. This is what the box looks like, and this is the lipstick. It's in the shade Amorous. It's just so pretty. It's just this beautiful berry-esque um, kind of color, and I just really, really love it. Um, I've seen this talked about a lot on YouTube. I've seen swatches of it, and I just decided to order it, and I am so glad I love it. It's just so beautiful, so I really love this. So now I'm going to jump on into all the stuff I got on vacation. Okay, so I went to MAC, and I'm just kind of doing these by categories. I had a lot of blushes and a lot of lipsticks. Those are what I mainly got, and then I got a few other little things. So I'll just kind of do the other things first, and then I'll kind of go into order blushes and lipsticks because I got the majority of those. Um, so I got this, I went to a CCO, which, or a CC, um, let's see, a CCS. So a CCS is a um, cosmetic company store. <laughs> I had to remember that. Cosmetic company store. And a CCO is a cosmetic company outlet. They're basically the same thing. They just sell different brands. So I went to a CCS, which is a cosmetic company store, and they sell like Estee Lauder, MAC, Bobbi Brown, um, what else did they have? They had some Clinique. They just have a few brands and they discount um, the stuff like 30% off. And so I love going there for like MAC, Estee Lauder, and Bobbi Brown type things. It's kind of fun. 
Um, I did get a few things from there. Um, I'm going to mention the other things I got from there when I get to them. But this is the first thing. Um, I cannot, I could not find this anywhere. Everyone's talking about the MAC Vibrancy Under Eye Primer. It must be like, I don't know if they discontinued it because the MAC stores don't carry it. Nordstrom doesn't carry it. I found it at the CCO and I almost died. I was like screaming. I was so excited. It was $24. This is what the box looks like and this is what the packaging looks like. It's just an under eye primer and I love it. It is so good. Um, I went back to the CCO um, a different time and I actually got another one of these. I'm not going to show that just because it's the same thing, but I did get a backup of this because I can't find it anywhere. I think it's discontinued or something. I don't know, but I was really happy I found it. So this is the under eye primer from MAC. Super, super excited about this. I've tried it. I love it. It's amazing. I like it way better than the Smashbox one, and that one's really good, but this is just, I love it so much. I'm glad I got two because when those two are gone, I don't know what I'm going to do because I think it's discontinued, which don't even get me started on that. Anyway, um, so I went to a Sephora when I was there, and I got this tattoo liner by Kat Von D in the shade I'm trying to look and see Mad Max Brown so I love brown liquid liners this is what the box looks like it's just so pretty and this is what the liner looks like I mean look at how pretty that is there's like little pictures on it and like little roses and it's just so pretty I do have that on my eyes today but I love this you know everyone's gonna think I'm crazy but I was not crazy about these Stila liquid liners I just didn't like them you know I loved them at first and then they frayed so easily and I just felt like they were just really hard to work with. I didn't like the Stila liquid liner. Everyone probably thinks I'm nuts because so many people are like cult following of that but I didn't love it. So I really wanted to try the Kat Von D one because the, the price is about the same. I think it's about $22. So I figured I'd give this one a go. So far so good so I'll kind of see if I like it better than that Stila one. So we are going to give this a whirl. And I love brown. It's just a little bit more soft. It's not so dramatic which I love. So I love this liquid liner a lot. I've used it a few times and I really really like it. So these two are kind of boring but I needed, um, I needed to replace my beauty blender. It's a brand new one. It looks so pink and so shiny. I'm, or not shiny but just so pink and so vibrant. I'm never going to see it this clean ever again. Um, but I really, really love beauty blenders and I really needed a new one. My other one, my daughter had taken a chunk off the top of it and it was just getting really gross. I'd had that one for over a year. So about once a year I like to replace them. So I got a new um, beauty blender and then I saw these. These are little beauty blender minis. I mean, are they not the cutest? It comes in a pack of two. So I wanted to show you. This is a brand new one that I've never used, and this is one I used this morning, so it's a little bit bigger. So it definitely gets a little bit bigger, but these are so precious. They're just like the Beauty Blender, except for they're little, and they are amazing for in here, in the inner corner. I love these so much, and I thought they'd be kind of dumb, and I'm like, am I really going to spend $20 on these two little things? But I love them. They are so good. They're life-changing for, like, getting... In, like I use like a brush for like you know patting my concealer and then I go in with this and just get in the inner corner and just kind of blend everything up in there because I feel like everything can just kind of like gunk up in there and nothing is really small enough to reach it so I love this and I'm really happy that I got these cute little things and they are so adorable I mean they're like the oh they're just the tiniest I like squealed when I saw them I thought they were just so cute my husband thought I was nuts of course <laughs> um so this is another thing I got from the CCO when I was there, or the CCS. Oh geez, I keep calling it a CCO, but this one was a CCS, which, I, I mean, they're basically the same thing. Um, this is a MAC Extra Dimension blush in the shade At Dusk. It's just what the box looks like, and this is what the color looks like. I think that this is a discontinued one, because I haven't seen this one, but it's just really, really pretty. I've never had any of these Extra Dimension ones. And I just fell in love with this color. It swatched beautifully. There is a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not bad at all. I loved it, and I fell in love. And I got it, and I just love it so much. It's really, really pretty. Worn it a few times. Love it. I'm just going to go through my blushes. Um, this, is, this is another one I got at that CCS as well. This is the Bobbi Brown blush in the shade Desert Rose. I've never owned a Bobbi Brown blush, and this is just the prettiest color. It's like a rosy pink. And I just loved it. It's just so beautiful. It's completely matte. So I had to get that. I went a little bit crazy on 
um, blush there just because they had such pretty colors and really really loved it so I got those and I think that was the last of what I got at the CCS I think I just picked up three things there but I love all three of them they're just so pretty um, this is the I got this at the Sephora when I went to Sephora I think I got this at the Disneyland the Disneyland Sephora um, this is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Blush, and these are like the cream to powder type blushes. I've heard rave reviews about these so many times, and I was like, I just need to bite the bullet and pick one of these bad boys up. I got the shade 220, and it's just, oh my gosh, it's such a cool cream blush. I've worn it a few times. It's such a natural color. I wanted a really natural color, but I think I'm going to end up having to get some more because these are just so amazing. The best cream blush I've ever tried. So you put it on and it's creamy and so you can put it on over your foundation even and it's just like it's creamy and like it's really easy to blend and then it dries down into a powder and it just stays all day and it, it's not like goopy. I hate the NYX cream blushes and I hate the MAC convertible cheek colors because they're just so dewy looking on your face and for me that just does not go well so I love these because they dry down into a powder and they're super super nice so I really really love this color. I know I'm going to have to get another one eventually because they're just so dang pretty and I just really really like that one. Okay the last blush. I told you I went really like blush crazy. Um, this is a Becca blush. So I went to the Sephora at Vegas. If you have not been to the Sephora at Vegas inside of Planet Hollywood Hotel, oh my gosh that Sephora is the best Sephora I've ever been to. They have brands that no other, no other Sephora has. Like I haven't seen a lot of these like they had like Givenchy, they had, um, what else did they have? They had Coors, which I've never seen that at a Sephora before. They had Becca, which I've never seen Becca, like, in person at a Sephora before. What else did they have? I'm trying to think. They used to have Illamasqua, but Illamasqua doesn't, you know, it's not in any Sephoras anymore. But they just have, like, a whole bunch of different, um, things. They have, oh, geez, there was another one that I was like, they have that? But they just had a whole bunch of different ones. So if you're ever in Vegas, go to the Planet, Wood, Planet Hollywood Hotel and go into that Sephora. They have, like, a motel in the, um, or sorry, a, a mall in their hotel. It's, like, really big. And they have a Sephora there, and it is the best one. So really really like that. I picked up the Becca blush because I've never seen them in person and I was so excited. Um, I picked up Damselfly or Dam, yeah Damselfly I think that's how you pronounce it and I think the packaging is the cutest. It's like a little flying saucer. I think it's so fun and it's just such a pretty like peachy kind of burnt peachy color really 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 love it it is so beautiful and there's just a little bit of sheen in it a little bit of sparkle but it definitely does not transfer that much on your cheeks i hate glitter so there's no glitter it's just a very very beautiful color and yeah really like that i was super excited because i've never seen like becca in like an actual sephora so pretty thrilled about that <laughs> um so the next one two three four five products uh, my last five are all lip products. I went really crazy on blush and lips because they just had such pretty colors. Um, so I went into a MAC and I got the color Brave. I have been wanting this color for a while. This is what the box looks like and I think this is a satin. Yeah, this is a satin formula, which my two favorites are satin formula and... Um, Amplified. I love satin and amplified. Amplified is probably my very favorite, but satin is definitely a close second. I love the satin formula. It's so pretty. And this is just what it looks like. It's just a very like nude pink, very easy to wear. You could pretty much wear this with anything. I really, really like this color. And again, it's brave. So really love it. It's so, so pretty. Um, my next one is a Too Faced Melted Lipstick, and I have one of these. I have Peony already, but I wanted to get this one. I've been wanting it forever. This is Fig, and it's just so nice. It's like that really pretty purple color, so I got Fig when I was there. Um, I got a Dior Addict Extreme Lipstick. This is in 356 Cherry Bow. And this is what the box looks like. Very beautiful. And this is what the lipstick looks like. It's just so pretty. Really like their packaging. And then you just pull this out like that. And it's just such a pretty um, 
kind of pinky color. It, it's what I'm wearing today. It goes with everything. I love these because they're not matte, but they're not um, like super glossy. They're just, they're a little bit, like they give you a little bit of a color, but it's very sheer. And so I love these because, you know, oh, sorry guys. I'm just really trying to like figure out how to shut that. Okay. Um, they give you a little bit of color. It's not too much, but it's not too little. It's just like the perfect amount. And I just, oh, I love these so much. I'm addicted to Dior's. I, oh, I just love Dior lipsticks. Um, another oh, lipstick I'm addicted to are these Marc Jacob ones. They're so good. I got two of them. My last two items. Um, I got the Le Marc, um Lip Cream in... This is the shade... Oh, this one. Everyone talks about this. I think it's called Jetame. Jetamine? Jetame? Anyway. Everyone talks about this. I mean, it's just perfect. It is so pretty. It's red, but it has some pink in it. So it's not straight up red, but it's not pink. It's like a pinky kind of red. It's like a darker raspberry. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And of course, these like this packaging is perfect. If I'm going to spend a lot for a lipstick, I want it to be a little bit weighty. And this is just like the perfect weight. It's just, and look at that. It's just like magnetic. <laughs> it's so pretty. I just can't. I can't with that. And the other Marc Jacobs I got is the Marc Jacob Lip Cream in Infamous. This is the box. I've been wanting Infamous forever. It's just so beautiful. It's just like a deepened kind of berry. And these lipsticks are just, oh my gosh, they're so good. I got one um, when they very first came out, Love Spell. And I like that one, but I like the formula of the new ones a lot better. They reformulated them and these are just, oh, they're so pretty. There's so many. I was like, well, I wanted to get them all, but I was like, nope. I only pick two because I already have two so now I have four so anyway these are awesome and they're very addicting so be very careful <laughs> anyway that's my crazy big haul um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys again on Monday with another video bye